Good morning, everyone. My name is Sarah Simon. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Appleton, Wisconsin. And boy, it's nice and sunny here, but it sure is chilly out there. And I know that Julie out in North Dakota said the same thing there. You look outside and you wouldn't guess, although we have snow. So we got snow on Thursday to Thursday over Thursday night into Friday morning. And so you look outside and you see all that sun and it's beautiful. Oh, Lila was sunbathing in my sunroom. <laughs> she decided to come and join us because she heard me talking and she thought she was missing something. Good morning, Kelly and Julie and Linda and Dee and the other Linda <laughs> and Sarah and Mary and Amanda and Michelle and Lori and Debbie and Betty. Um, Oh, Debbie, you're still in Florida. I'm so jealous. I'm not going to lie. It's cold and snowy here. So thank you all for joining me this morning. Um, I have, this will be a live stamping video. I'm actually, I don't know if you read the description, but I am going to do a one sheet wonder um, with our craft note cards, because those are going to be going on sale starting on April on uh, 9th. And so I thought, I'm going to show you what these are, because they're kind of a little hidden gem, I think, in our annual catalog. It's hard to see exactly what you're getting for $10. And with a 10% discount, you would be able to get them for $9 starting um, on the 9th of April. So but before we do that, I have some happy mail that I'm going to share with you. Um, I received this beautiful card. Look at that. Oh, and the lighting isn't the best in here. I apologize. The sun's coming right in there. Let's see. I think this way is probably the best. This is from Betty Rose now, and this is one of those book folds. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, this, I think, was some celebration paper a few years back. Just beautiful. Good morning, um, Kay and Karen and Kathy and Kay that we jumped on. Since I said my morning hellos, um, I also received, look at this is our fold that we did last week for the creative challenge. This is from Amanda Shabo, and she was thanking me. She won a prize last week. And then she happened to mention on when I was doing the little um, kit with the frogs and friends, she happened to mention that her daughters would love that. And my youngest niece is a sophomore in high school. So none of them really are into that anymore. And um, my oldest nieces and nephews still haven't had kids yet. And so I really thought, since she said she thought her kids would love it, when I dropped off her prize last week, I dropped off the, re or the um, kit for her girls. And so she was thanking me for that too. She said, they are young stampers and love to create. I love that. I love hearing that. So that was from Amanda. And then this was from Michelle Jones. This also is the fold. She posted this on the challenge. And then your kindness. This, so these stand up. If you didn't watch last week, um, these will stand up so that you can display your card. And that was our challenge. So and Michelle was thanking me for some goodies I sent her. She's one of my team members. And she ended up hitting... Um, kind of a milestone in one of the first kind of stepping stones in Stampin' Up! And so I was sending her a congratulatory message. So we also have prizes to give away. Before I give my normal prizes, I wanted to read off the names of all the people that I had who submitted for my creative challenge this week, um, one of your cards on um, Facebook just to make sure that I have everyone. So um, if you um, if you don't hear your name and you did submit something and I missed it somehow, please let me know. I did look at it at about, I think it was about quarter to eight this morning. So Aileen Humphrey, Kathy Kessler, or Kessler, I think it's Kessler. I don't know. I'll have to find that out, Kathy. Um, Jean Maxwell, Michelle Jones, Becky Weiske, Diane Van Groh, Anna Rebidu, Tammy Litsky, 
Cheryl McClure, Amanda Shabo, Mary Van Domlin, good morning, Gian, and Julie Grassel. And good morning, Sandy from Gulf Shores, Alabama, probably warmer there too than it is here. And Elsa jumped on, jumped on and oh, Barbara and Denise, I missed. I think I said hello to Kay if I didn't. Hello, Kay. All right, so I'm going to keep these here. I'm going to mix them up a little bit more. Good morning, Sandy. All right, so my other prizes for commenting and receiving. So my take on that fold was this birthday card and had the birthday candles on the back. And then inked and tiled, which we found out is going to be retiring along with the paper. All right, so that those were the two cards that I made last week. Receiving these for commenting is Diane Borman. And Diane, I if you are watching this either live or um, a recording of it, please send me a private message with your address so that I can get these in the mail to you. Um, my email is createwithsarahllc at gmail.com. Or you can send me a private message through Facebook. All right, congratulations, Diane. And then for sharing, so anytime you share, make sure you write just like Linda just did in the comments that she shared. Um, you also get entered into a drawing to win prizes and receiving a pack of these iridescent adhesive back discs, which these carried over from the holiday catalog and they are going to be in the new catalog as well, is Tammy Litsky. So Tammy, I will get these off in the mail to you yet, hopefully today. And then for placing an order. So anytime you place an order, you also, during the week, you also get put into the drawing. And if your order is under um, $150, um, I would ask that you use this host code. That helps me with, I get the hostess rewards then, and that's how I get these prizes to share with you. So if your order is over $150, please do not give me those rewards. Take those rewards yourself because you've earned them. But anything under $150, you don't get any extra rewards. So then I keep those, I get those rewards and I buy all of these prizes to give away. All right, so receiving a pack of our glorious gingham paper. And then what I did is there is a six sheets of um, our cardstock in the five colors that are in here so that you can mix and match them so you don't have to buy a pack of all of the colors. So there's Berry Burst, there's Lemon Lime Twist, there's Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel, and Pecan Pie. And the pack of this is Kathy Kessler, or Kessler, when, however you say that, Kathy, I'm sorry. I'm guessing it's Kessler, but sometimes I see that with two S's in your name has one S. So um, I will be getting this off in the mail to you. I, of course, have your address because you placed an order. All right. So now for our drawing, let's see here. Oh, I'm going to put these all on my desk. And you know what? I can, let's do this. I think I can do this. So you can kind of see my things here. I can't see any of the names. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking away from the table. And I'm going to just go ahead and keep mixing all of these up. And I'm going to pick one, and it's this one. And the winner is Diane Van Grohl. So Diane, you get to pick the bundle of your choice. And you can let me know what you would like for your bundle. It can be either a punch and a stamp set bundle or a die and a stamp set bundle. So thank you for all of you who participated and submitted a card. Go back to that Facebook post and look at them. They are amazing, those cards. Great ideas. You're inspiring other people by participating. So thank you very much. All right, I'm going to flip this here and make this my main screen. I'm going to go turn off my overhead light. That helps to get away some of those shadows. <laughs> and I have, I think I have enough light so that everything still looks good. Okay, the hidden gem in the annual catalog that most people miss, and I think I have it marked here, is right here. These craft note cards and envelopes. If you read closely to the description, 
It says 20 cards and 20 envelopes, coordinating box included. Folded cards are five by three and a half, so there are no card size. Acid free and linen free. Okay, they're going to be 10% off beginning on April 9th, and they're only $10 to begin with, with, which I think is kind of a steal. 20 card bases, 20 envelopes, and a coordinating box to go with it. So this is what the box looks like when it's all put together. Okay, it does come, you do have to fold it in and put it together, but it's super easy to put together. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take, we're going to make eight of them today. We're going to do a one sheet wonder, which when I'm making card kits to give away as gifts, I love doing one sheet wonders because I can make a whole bunch of them really fast. And so this is what our normal A2 card looks like. Okay, so this is four and a quarter by five and a half. These are smaller than that. So they're only three and a half inches wide by five inches tall. So all of our note cards are that way. These are retiring, but the white ones are staying. They don't come with a box. The very vanilla ones are retiring and they don't, they didn't come with a box either, but we will still have our white ones. And then these are the coordinating envelopes to go with these cards. And you can send these through the mail at this size. Okay, this is a good size to send through the mail. All right. Yes, Julie said they were fun cards to create. And thank you, Julie, for sending a card like that to me to give me the idea to use them. All right. I decided that the cardstock that I was going to use was our lavender. Oh, look at that, how pretty that is. And this is coming back next uh, in our next catalog. So you will still be able to order this. All right, so here is um, our card bases. We're going to cut these so that I can easily make, I have eight cards left. So I, you're making four with each six by six piece. So what I did already is I, there are six different patterns that are two-sided in each pack of, well, most packs of DSP. I cut a six by six from all six of those. So I have one that I'm using to decorate the cover of my box, which we'll do at the end. I have four, no, three that I've already done, all right? And then I have these two that are left that we're going to make together, all right? So I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer and I'm gonna go ahead and give you the first banner. I don't know if I, I think I did this one already, but I did it with a, um, I did it with a four and a quarter by five and a half. Cause you can tailor this to work for a four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay. So my first cut of the six by six is going to be at three inches and I'm having it. If you have a pattern that requires a certain direction, I'm going to have it go so that it's up the way that the direction would be. Okay a directional pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it at three, get my scoring tool out of the way. Okay, and then I'm gonna score it at one and a half. So this is three inches, I'm just gonna cut that in half. Cut it at one and a half. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna do this twice so that you can see it twice. I'll do it with the other paper. I could just hold these two papers together and do them together, but I thought it might be nice to see it twice. So here's my three inch strip. I'm gonna cut it at three. And then I'm gonna cut it at one. What's left, I'm gonna cut at one and then one again. I like to cut if it's under an inch and a quarter, I like to line it up on the right hand side. I don't know why, it just seems easier. Okay, so there are those three strips. Okay, then I'm gonna take one of my one and a half inch strips and I'm gonna cut it at one and a half three times. So I'm making four one and a half by one and a half inch squares. Okay, so there are my four squares. And then my last 
one I'm just going to cut at five inches. Now, if you decide you want to use this layout and you want to do it on a four and a quarter by five and a half, then you should cut this at five and a half rather than at five. This is all the leftovers that I have of that six by six piece. Okay, so here are my pieces that I cut. I'm just going to kind of keep them like that. And we're going to do that over again, just so that you can see it again. So six by six, cut at three and cut at one and a half. And I like using six by six because that way, if the paper only comes in six by six, you can still make it. Good morning, Kathy and Lori and Karen. I don't know if I said hello to you, Lori, before. And Jean, I don't know if I think I said hello to you. And Sarah, <laughs> sorry. Next cut is the three inch strip. I'm going to cut at three inches and then I'm going to cut at one inch and one inch again. Ooh, look at that green. We might flip some of these over. All right. And then one of the one and a half inch strips, I'm going to cut three times at one and a half. And one and a half. And one and a half. I think I got all the way up to the edge there. There we go. And then... The last one, I'm going to cut at five inches. And again, five and a half if you're using, if you're making a regular size card. Okay, that's all I'm going to cut with you. <laughs> all right, then what you're going to need, and I just cut a whole bunch of them because I haven't made these yet. I've made, um, I've made 12 of them. I've cut three patterns already and I've designed the cards but I haven't made them with these two patterns yet so every single card was just a little bit different so we're going to decide and kind of make these together so I have and I'll put these dimensions up here when I use them I have just some coordinating colors with this DSP that I cut in some of the sizes that we might use for our cards so the first one that we're actually going to make is going to be the one that uses our two squares. Okay, so this three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And the one that we're going to use for that, the size that we're going to use, is one that's three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So basically, it covers, let me bring one of our cards in here. It's going to just be a quarter of an inch smaller than the whole base of our card. Okay, so we have to pick which colors we want so we can look and see. Now this one, I like to have a little bit lighter color because I'm gonna stamp on here. So I don't have any of my really dark colors on here because um, it wouldn't show up on there. I think I'm gonna go that way with those two. There is some Lost Lagoon in here and that way I can stamp either with Pretty Peacock or I can stamp with Blackberry Bliss is in here or the Gorgeous Grape. If I have Gorgeous Grape, Blackberry Bliss, or Pretty Peacock as my base, then I would have to bring in um, heat embossing. And I didn't want to do that this morning with you. I thought I want to make these as show you how simple they can be as possible. Okay. So, and I decided in this that what I was going to do is just use the elements that are in the two stamp sets that kind of go along with this paper. I do did not want to have to stamp any elements, but there are dies in here that cut out things that look like the lavender and have little greens. So I cut out a bunch of these in Pretty Peacock and in Lost Lagoon. And let me see, let me put these. And whoops, that's the same color. You're not going to see that. <laughs> Okay, so I cut some of these in Gorgeous Grape and in Highland Heather, and I cut some of these um, greeneries in Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. And it doesn't matter, like, 
I just made sure that I cut a whole bunch of them so that I didn't have to stop in the middle of it. But if I have to, because we decide we need something more, I can always do that. But that way I can just keep creating and I don't have to um, keep going back and cutting. So I just have a combination of some of them here. Um, I'm using all of the greetings so that all the fonts are the same from the perennial postage. So there were enough different greetings in there that I could make some just general note cards. On the outside, I'm going to, I think I'm going to actually, one of these cards, let's make a Mother's Day. So we'll have a card to go with our gift. I think figure Mother's Day is coming up. This would be a great Mother's Day gift to give to someone. I'm going to tell you that all 20 cards, if you use Stampin' Dimensionals, which I did, are not going to fit in the box. It's going to be like, I have 12 in here right now, and I don't think I can fit many more in here because it's already up to the top. And you don't want it to be overflowing. So I'm going to, for this one, whoever wins this next week, you will be getting 12 cards. You will also be getting the Mother's Day card to go with it on the outside. So 13 cards plus the decorated box. And then I'm using the other cards just to, I'm, I have a bridal shower that I'm throwing for my niece because I'm her godmother. And I'm going to tie some of these together as door prize gifts like six of them together tied with some twine or some ribbon. Um, and they'll be make great gifts. They don't have to be the full size cards. They don't have to be super, super complicated. Um, let's see. Oh, hi, Becky from Kentucky. <laughs> um, so that's what I decided to do with mine. So then I also, to kind of go along with that, I, I punched out a bunch of these perennial the postage dies and now this one um i wouldn't stamp on this but i could definitely layer one of the smaller ones here we go if i wanted to layer i could layer on there so i did do some darker ones in that bigger color even though i'm not going to stamp in um i'm not going to do any heat embossing Okay, so squirrel. Sorry about that. I just had to let you know. I should have done that before to let you know where I was going. I also brought in our laser cut um, uh, butterflies because I thought maybe we might want to use those. I put, I think, two of them on some of the cards that I already made. And I thought they might look nice on some of the cards that we were doing this morning. All right, so back to this. What we're going to do with this one is these are going to be attached to the top. We're going to stamp a greeting down here, and we're also going to wrap some sort of a ribbon or twine or linen thread around it um, just to kind of separate from the paper to, or the designer paper to where we have our greeting. So that's why I made this a little bit longer so that I could stamp the greeting right here. Um, I'm going to, on this one, I think I'm going to use, um, gorgeous grape. I think ink will look good on here. And here I might use Blackberry Bliss um, just because there's that really dark Blackberry Bliss that's in there. You can pick whatever greetings you want. Hi, Brenda Dexheimer. Um, so this You Mean the World to Me fits and I could put that right here. I could put it center. Um, I could add a couple of those little sprigs or I could add a butterfly or something to it if I wanted to. It's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Or you can just leave that like that. Um, another one that fits on here is here for you always. So we could go ahead and put those on there. And um, we'd have two different greetings um, and pretty quick and simple to make. So I'm going to pull out my gorgeous grape ink. I think I'm going to just kind of set my inks off to the side here and pray that I don't drop something in them. And I think for this one, I'm going to stamp this off to the side here. Because then if I tie a bow around here, I can tie the bow right over here. All right. And this one, I'm going to get my chamois. All right. And this one we said we were going to do... Let's do it in, how about if we do it in Pretty Peacock and we'll use some Pretty Peacock ribbon. Oh, I almost dropped that right on there. 
All right. I'm going to clean these off right away so that I know what I've done. <laughs> I know that they've been cleaned. All right. Now I'm just going to attach this to the top. Oh, and I could have used any of the stuff on the back too. I didn't even look to see what was on the back of this one. We'll flip it over. We'll use some of that green, um, that pretty peacock. Ooh. Maybe we'll use that on a different one since I already have this one with the greens in it for the backgrounds. Hi, Michelle Jones. Thank you for sharing. I think I said hello to you already. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just lining this up so that there's an even border on those three sides. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, so since I did this in Pretty Peacock, I think I'm going to take some of this Pretty Peacock ribbon that we have and just go ahead and wrap this around there. Add a little bit of gold to it as well. I just have some scotch tape here that can tie that down. And I think I'm just going to tie this in a knot rather than in a bow. So I'm just going to grab a piece here. Um, the only purple ribbon that we really have right now, I found out when I was making these, is the Orchid Oasis Glimmer Ribbon which was a little bit off from the colors that were in here. So I grabbed the, I have my Lost Lagoon ribbon, but I don't want Lost Lagoon on Lost Lagoon. And I have this, I need a bigger piece here. Um, pretty Peacock, and I have my linen thread as well. All right, so I'm just gonna tie this in a knot rather than in a bow. And then just trim that. All right, and then how about if we use, uh, let's use some of the Lost Lagoon. I'll maybe tie this one in a bow so you can kind of do whatever you want. Make each card is unique. Um, there's a, one card in there that is exactly the same. And let's see here. I'm going to just put this up almost where this ends on this one, right on the edge of the designer paper so that I can see all of that greeting. Okay, I'm gonna use my reverse tweezers to hold this in place so that I can tie this in a bow. That way I don't have to try to hold the center down there. Come on. My fingers are so dry right now and I don't I've put hand cream on and I feel like I can't grab anything I was giving out communion at mass last week and trying to find the grab the host with my fingers as dry as they were I was like ah okay I'm gonna let go of that whoops there goes my tweezers coming back at me all right and we'll trim that Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and add these to the front of those note cards. These can be super simple. The ribbon makes them have a little bit of accessories on it. I didn't do any gems. And the reason I didn't do any gems is because I don't want these to get too, too thick um, so that it's a problem sending them through the mail. Um, another note card. And this paper is so pretty. You really don't have to add anything to it. All 
Okay, so there we have two more cards for in our box. That was from the three and a um, three and a half by no three by three inch squares. All right, thank you for sharing and Becky and um, Sandy. All right, the next card that we're gonna make. Let's do the one that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, so these next ones, um, your background is going to be three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I don't know what I just dropped, but I will find it afterwards. <laughs> Maybe. All right, these are going to use our squares. So I have four squares like this, and I have four squares like this. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to use two of these. I'm going to use the back side. Let me see. Oh, I like that little butterfly that's on that one. And I like the butterfly that, that are on there. I think I'm going to flip those like that. Oh, yeah, I'm liking that. All right. Do we like it with? Nope, I don't think I like it with that. Let's try it with purple. Mm -hmm. I might have to go get a Highland Heather of this one. It doesn't look like I did a Highland Heather of this one. Oh, I like, kind of like this. Whoops. Although we don't have that really dark color in there. I think I'm actually going to come back to this one. Do, do, do. I like Pretty Peacock with Lost Lagoon. Let me quickly cut. I have some extras here in case I had to cut. Let's cut a Highland Heather one and see three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Just so we know. Ooh, I'm liking this one already. I'm thinking this one has to be Highland Heather. I do this. I like that. All right, let's do this one with Highland Heather. Let's do this one with Blackberry Bliss. This one, I sometimes try to keep the pieces together. I think this one actually goes here. And that one goes there so that they all kind of line up. And there's just like a little border around each of them. Let's go ahead and attach these. So I'm kind of making on the fly today. <laughs> Don't have anything that's really planned with any of these. I really didn't even think any of them out. Other than I did get a little bit of practice because I did three of the six by six sheets um, yesterday, last night while I was watching the Badgers lose. Thank goodness I had stamping to do to keep me occupied. So now <laughs> we cheer for Marquette. I actually, I have a brother that went to Marquette and I had a brother that went to Madison. So, oh, I could have done the other side of this too. All right. I have to remember, let's do this. Let's flip one of these around. Let's do this one in that. And maybe we can do the next two in that one. All right, and then we have this. I love NCAA tournament time. Anyone else? Anyone have a team you're cheering for? My pool, I are um, they ask all the alumni of the high school that I go to, and that's where I teach as well. Um, the school system that I teach in, they have like a pool, and it's always like which alumni is going to win the little trophy each year. So there's no money involved in it or anything like that. It's just bragging rights. I'm like way down on the list. I think I was number 35. I don't even know how many people they were, but there are, but. And this one. I really do think that that's the best color for that one. All right. Now, there's a couple of different things you could do with this one. 
um, you could put that up on top and stamp down here. You could center it a little bit more on the card and you could take a label, one of our square labels, We've got a couple of them. We could do something like that and stamp something in there or we could take this color and stamp something in there. Um, I think we have a bigger square too. Mm, doesn't look like I cut any of the, oh, here's the bigger square. I think that's a little bit too big maybe, unless we did Mother's Day on that. All right, I think I'm going to, for this one, we could even make our square go that way. That looks unique. Let's do this one. I haven't done this one this way. Um, so I'm gonna do that this way and I'm gonna um, center this one. This one I'm gonna put up here. And I think maybe what we'll do is we'll put a butterfly, one of those um, laser cut butterflies and we'll stamp something down here. So I have sending love and wishes and we've got Blackberry Bliss paper. So I'm gonna pull out Blackberry Bliss ink. And I think I'm going to center it more. Oh, one bad thing about doing it. Um, I could probably put a label. Let's do a label on that. <laughs> it's not very straight. And then let's, uh, let's see, can I even can go about that high on it to cover that? I should stand up so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Problem is that my um, words are on there crooked. I put the sticker on crooked. Okay, I think I like that better. And what we can do is we can maybe even just put a little bit of twine behind that when we put that on. And this one, let's just um, put our stamp um, big hugs. And we'll do the pretty peacock since that's what that color of this is right there. There we go. All right. I'm actually going to close these because I'm afraid I'm going to put my hands in them. I'll open them as I need them. So we've got almost four cards done and not very much time. Let's see, clean these off. That, and where's the one that I just used? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It wasn't that one. I don't know what I did with the stamp. <laughs> okay, I'll find it here. Oh, here it is. I set it over on the side. Okay, let's go ahead and um, how about if we take a little bit of linen thread. You're kind of seeing my uh, <laughs> process of designing as I'm doing this as well. So like I said, I don't have these planned out. I don't usually like to stamp on the fly, but I wanted to show you how you can make each one unique and you don't really have to have a plan. You can just kind of sit down and kind of make as you go. Let's see. Go like that. You know what? I don't even know that it needs that. I think I'm just gonna pop this up on dimensionals. Does not need it. Sometimes less is best. And you don't wanna to layer too many things on these because then you're really not gonna be able to fit them into that box. 
kind of center the sun here. Okay, so big hugs. Lots of room to write in here. And these, you really don't have to put liners on the inside because you can see if you write on any color um, ink, you'll still be able to see them. So there's that one. Let's take one of these butterflies. It's so funny. My niece, uh, Amory, she's the one that's out in LA and she's, um, oh gosh, she's like 20. To 23 maybe um maybe she's going to be 24 next or in april um but she used to always say her f's as ch's so we'd always tell her emory can you say i've got a butterfly on my finger and she'd say i got a butter chat on my chinga <laughs> so anytime i see the word butterfly or anytime i talk about a butterfly i always think of I always call it a butter chai. Got a butter chai on my chinga. Okay, we're just going to cover that center there with this little butter chai. <laughs> All right, so there is our butterfly. And then I think I'm just going to pop this up on some dimensionals. Remember, we're covering up my little mistake because you can always cover up a mistake. That was just a little bit too crooked and down a little bit too much. I should have had it up a little higher, but we'll cover it up. There we go. And then we'll attach this down. I do not think we have her recorded, Becky, <laughs> but it was, it was always really, really cute. And she always wore chip chops for flip flops. <laughs> I got my chip chops on. Okay, so there is card number four. So we got four done. Um, I think the next one we're going to do is going to be using this layer, which is three and a quarter by three and a half. So the last one was three and a quarter by three and a quarter. This one is... Um, I'm going to use these, I think. And then for this, maybe we can use this, this other side. Okay. These are going to be layered just kind of like we did with the, um, just how we did it with the squares. We're just going to go ahead and layer these as well. Okay. So that you know what I did is I did some white, uh -huh. just in case. Let me see. Here's some white ones. I just kind of had a thought when I was laying in bed this morning. I think that's that size. Do we like that on white better? What do you think? White or... Or do you like it on the Gorgeous Grape? I'm going to give you a vote on that one. I'll start working on the next one. This one. Let's see. I think I'm going to do this one on the Lost Lagoon. I'm going to go ahead and attach those already. Grape, grape. Grape. Okay, we got lots of grapes. For this one, I put the top one on and I put my bottom one on. And I try to get those so that the three sides have an equal amount of space around them. Same thing here. And then I sandwich the other one in the middle so that I can then make sure I have an even amount in between each one. Okay. Oh, what does the white look like on the craft card? Thanks, Mary. I'll show you what that looks like. So that's what the white would look like on the craft. 
And then here's what the grape would look like. Yeah, I think I'm kind of liking the grape too. All right, I think it's grape. We've got mostly grape. Okay, let's go ahead and add these then. If we had done the other side, we could have done like pretty peacock, but I want to get both sides so you can see both sides here a little bit. And my bottom one. That way your cards look really different because people are thinking, oh my gosh, she used so many different sheets of paper. But really we only used one six by six of each one and I just tried to incorporate both sides if I could. Okay, there we go. All right, and these I'm going to put up here. We're gonna stamp something down here and this is where I think I'm gonna pull in some of these. And we'll have some of these, do, 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 do. Maybe we need grape here too. Okay, we'll put some of that on there along with some twine and we'll just stamp our greeting down in the right corner. And I'll do the same thing with this one. So this is card five and six that we're making. Okay, we'll stamp again down in the bottom well, figure out what we want to put. Like if we want to put something like that and something like that. So we'll figure all of that stuff out. Ooh, look at this on there. Ooh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Let me take this off. I gotta hide that. Sorry, I keep forgetting to hide those things from you after I show you. Okay, so let's stamp a greeting first. You are simply marvelous. I don't think we used that one yet. Nope. You are simply marvelous. We'll do that in gorgeous grape on this one. Okay, I did much better on that one than I did the last time. And then... I did you mean the world to me already, right? Yep. Um, do, do, do. I can't thank you enough. I don't think I did that one yet. Let's do that one. I can't thank you enough. That one's going to be kind of a tight fit. Let's see here. It'll fit. All right. What color are we going to do that one? Let's just do gorgeous grape as well. There we go. All right, we are getting there. I love the Lost Lagoon one and it isn't even finished. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll show you all the other ones that I made. So there'll be a total of 20 of these. So I made all 20 note cards. Um, like I said, the person who wins this next week is probably only going to get 12 plus a mother. We're going to make the last one in a Mother's Day one. I almost forgot. <laughs> so somebody remind me if I start taking a greeting out, say you were going to make a Mother's Day card to go with the gift. <laughs> okay, so we've got those. And let's see here. Let's put... Let's go ahead and maybe put some of that on there and we can put a purple one or a grape one and a Highland Heather one. I think that would look good layering those on there. So let's just go ahead and put a little bit of glue. on the back of this. Now I could have used adhesive sheets. I didn't know what I was all gonna use because when I started last night, I just cut a whole bunch of stuff. 
And I'm like, whatever I end up with, I end up with. Okay, I'm going to have some of that go off of there. All right, and then we'll put some of the gorgeous grape. Now, I did on one of them try to put this up on dimensionals, and it was a real challenge. So I'm going to actually cut a little of this one off. And we'll kind of go up that way a little bit. You could also, like, I did not want to do a lot of stamping and die cutting because I didn't want you to have to wait for me to do eight cards. And I was stamping the lavender and I was having to cut it out and do all of that. So I opted to just cut a little bit of that off too. I opted just to use the stuff that I could die cut. I wanted that one just a little bit shorter so they weren't the same height. Okay, so we've got some of that going on there. And then we will take some of our linen thread. And I had cut some already earlier. Oops, and it was even in a bow for me and I just untied it. Whoops. Come on on this side and we'll trim those off oh my bone folders back here we'll give it a little bit of a curl and we'll grab a glue dot and I'm just gonna Roll this in a ball, stick it where I want the knot to be, <laughs> and then stick my knot right in it. Okay, so I can't think it might have my knot go a little bit more or my bow go a little bit more that way. So I don't cover up the greeting. So there's a thank you one. I can't thank you enough. All right, and now, Let's go ahead, kind of like this dark green on there, along with maybe the darker purple. Do we do just one? Let's see, how about if I do one? Or do I do just the purple? Purple, purple, and not do any green and just do, ah, I kind of like that. Let's do just that. The last one was your favorite, this one here. Yeah, these were my favorite when I made them too. I loved putting the little stuff on them. All right, I think I'm just gonna do the purple and I think I'm going to just then put a little bit of linen thread right there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and glue these two darker purple ones down first. I just have to be really careful with the, this liquid glue so that I don't have it squirting all over the place. I just want a little dot coming out. Oh, shoot. I wanted to spread that. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have that coming up there. We'll do this one. You could also use a sponge dauber and put some of your liquid glue on a silicone mat and sponge dauber the back of it because then you can take your glue off your silicone mat. Um, thanks, Diane. Whoops. Diane, I don't know if you were on at the very beginning, but you won one of my prizes, so I do need your address from you. So you can either send that in a private message to me on Facebook if you are on Facebook. Otherwise, my email is createwithsarahllc at gmail. And if you send me your address, I'll send you, you won the cards from last week. I'll get those off in the mail to you. I realized I didn't have your address. Must be your, you must be a first time winner. So thank you for watching and commenting. All right, so there we go with those. And now we'll just go ahead and add again a little bit of the linen thread. 
And let me grab my bow maker. I think I'm going to make a double bow on this one. Just to give it a little more. So to make a double bow, I'm just going to wrap it around here twice instead of wrapping it around once. You could also take two pieces. If you make a regular bow, you can also take two pieces of linen thread and do the bow together. Put my pegs back or I'm going to lose them. All right. And we'll trim this and we'll curl it. And we'll get a glue dot. Stick that glue dot right where we want the knot to be. And then push the knot in there. Okay. So You Are Simply Marvelous could be a really easy thank you. Or it could be a birthday. You could decide what you want it to be. All right. So there is our next card. All right, so we have six done, got two more to go. So let me give you the measurements for the layered piece on this one. So these are the pieces that we have left. Um, I think I'm gonna use this side. This might be a little boring. So let's use this side and this side. And let's, um, the piece that we have is one and five eighths by five inches. And so, we have a couple of different colors here. I don't know why I didn't do grape for this size. So let me cut one real quick so we can see. Um, looks like my grape one is over here. So three right I just have to cut it. It was the right width. I just didn't have it cut to the right. Okay. So that just gives us a little bit of grape coming out. And I think we said we kind of like this one layered with the Lost Lagoon. So I think we'll do that unless we want to go back to this side and do this. Okay, do you like that? We'll call that the blackberry side, or do you like the grape? So we're all about fruits here this morning. Blackberry or grape? So that's my grape. This would be the blackberry. You guys vote on that, and I'll go ahead and start putting this one together. One of these has to be a Mother's Day card. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then this is just going to go along the edge. Make sure I have it at the fold on the correct side. Uh, it's going to go along the edge of our note card. That's why I said if you're using the A2 card, the four and a quarter by five and a half. Instead of cutting this at um, five, you would actually cut it at five and a half. Okay, so both the paper and the background, you would cut at five and a half. So it goes from the top to the bottom of your card. If you don't have the note cards and you wanted to do this. Um, So this, when I originally found this one, this was technically for an A2 card and I adapted it to the note card. I changed some of the dimensions so that it fit with what I was doing. <laughs> um, but you could easily go back and do it on the, um, on an A2 card. Okay. We've got blackberry, grape, 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 blackberry, 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 grape. I think the blackberries have one. So if you wanted grape, you should have voted. <laughs> we got a lot of blackberry ones here. So I'm going to go ahead 
and do the blackberry. There we go. Lila snuck out on me. She was laying here for the longest time and now she's gone. She's probably in the sunroom sunbathing herself. Wishing she could be outside, but it's so darn cold. Oh, I'm having, I have a pond in my back, not in my backyard. So I have a fence in my backyard, but there's a, um, oh, what do you call those? Where there has to be a pond, uh, is it like called, uh, not a retention, is it? No. I can't remember what kind of pond it is, but I've got this pond. And we have a goose problem. I mean, there are a million geese there, and it drives me absolutely crazy. But I have my fence, so that's kept them out. Until this spring, or this, we had unseasonable weather, so the geese have come around. And honest to God, there were two of them in my front yard yesterday. I sent a picture to my mom. I'm like, oh, and I'm finding goose poop in all of my yard now. It used to just be down by my fence. Now it was on my driveway. It was, geese are just, ugh annoying. So anyway, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So yesterday, Lila went ahead and scared my geese away for me. Because I was like, oh, I don't want you here. She went outside and she just ran right after them. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. Um, I might have to cut some more things. But my thought was that we would just do... That kind of looks good there. Um, ooh, I kind of like that. Because I'm going to do one of these in Mother's Day. And that would be work in the square. I can even go cut a few more if we need some different layers. Like this we could do. I could cut that. No, that, I don't like that. No, I don't like that either. I think I'm going to highlight it with some ribbon. I think I'll put some ribbon behind it instead. And I might actually get, <coughs> excuse me, might actually cut a Highland Heather. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to do a square. Oh, gosh, let's see. They are dirty birds. You bet they are, Sandy. They're annoying, <laughs> too. I'm so frustrated. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? If I do this, and then if I cut a small one, I can put that in there. And I have a small greeting that will fit in there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut this in a small one, and I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do another purple uh, Highland Heather one in that. So just hang tight. I didn't know what I was going to need, and this is the end. So let me get my dies here. <clears throat> I'll quickly cut off screen so I don't have to bring my big shot in. I'll be right back. Okay, so that'll work layered on there. I like that. And then I want a Highland Heather. Let me get some Highland Heather here. Thought I had paper all laid out yet. Let me grab a piece of Highland Heather. <laughs> Okay, here's what I think I'll do with this one. Kind of layer that like that. And then I might even put some ribbon behind that one too. We'll see. I kind of like that like that. So this one, I know you will get through this. And we'll do that in our Blackberry Bliss. Should I have Blackberry Bliss here? 
Maybe. Yes. Hang tight. I'm going to cut one more. <laughs> Stamping on the fly. <laughs> Yes, I like that better. This is gonna go like that, I think. All right, and then we'll put some ribbon behind each of those as well. All right, oops, I opened this Blackberry Bliss for a reason. <laughs> All right, I know you will get through this. All right, so that's gonna go like that. And this one is going to be our Happy Mother's Day. And I think I will do that in Pretty Peacock. Should I do this this way? Ah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think I like that because of that being the background and then making that the background as well. Um, and so I think I'm going to stamp this actually in Gorgeous Grape. There we go. It'll go like that. And then I think on the inside, I'm gonna stamp, you mean the world to me. Okay, so that'll go like that. That's gonna go like that. Do this one flat and we'll lay the last one up on dimensionals. All right, anyone have any big plans for the day today? Oh, you're welcome, Julie. Yeah, I I bought these. This is, I think, the second pack that I had. And I don't know if they're retiring because people just don't get, like, you get the box, you get all the note cards and the matching envelopes. <coughs> and how awesome is that to have everything that matches and stuff? Okay, I'm going to layer this. I think I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to put this one on dimensionals. Great gift idea. And then if you can't fit all the cards back into the box, you can always use some of the other ones to just like, I could wrap some linen thread around this and give that away. Speaking of linen thread, we could probably throw a little linen thread up in the corner of this. Let's see here. So I just, I thought that these were awesome. That was kind of sad to see them go, but I think that, like I said, I don't think that they were, super popular and they made room for other things that they're bringing in. So one of the things for those of you that are not demonstrators and did not get a chance to see the catalog online, um, or you haven't seen any of the other demonstrators who are unboxing the stuff that they could purchase, Stampin' Up! is adding kind of like a new line to its product, not line, but um, something completely different that they haven't done in the past where you can buy card bases and then you can buy they've got I want to say there were about maybe five or six ephemera packs that have like the um cutouts and things like that um you know labels with greetings and stuff on them already that you can 
So if somebody would like to do some stamping, but they don't want to have to invest a lot of money to be able to get stamps and blocks and ink pads and all of that kind of stuff, it's an easy way for them to kind of pick the things that they like and that are maybe the kind of like similar things are within them um, and be able to um, do some crafting on their own that way. I'm going to wait and see how this looks. I can always pull it out if I need to. I just thought, well, that looks doesn't look too bad. All right. And I'm going to lay that flat because I raised up that other one where I stuck that linen thread under. So it's something a little bit different and we'll see how that goes. I like the note card size and I think the three by three cards and envelopes are going, they are the three by three note cards and envelopes. Now those you could not put in the mail because um, they were too small, but they were nice just to attach to a gift. Um, they look like this. I have mine pretty handy here. They're in a full or a drawer real nearby. <clears throat> Okay, so these are the envelopes. I think I might have used the note cards. These are the three by three envelopes. I don't think that they had note cards with them. I think they were just three by three envelopes now. And you could make a note card that's just like two and three quarters by five and a half and fold it in half and put it inside of there. So yeah, those are those envelopes are going away. All right. So this one is ready for our stack. This one, what do we need? Do we need anything more on this? We've got our greeting on the inside. This one you might be able to put a few gems on. We've got our purple gems. I don't have them sitting here handy, but I might add a couple of those on there. I might even, let's see here. Let's cut this right there and right there. I'm doing surgery. Let's just see if we tuck a little bit of that. Oh, I kind of like that. And then I don't think I had any of the purple ones left, but I could cut another one. But I think even just having that adds something. So let's just go ahead and pop this in there. You guys get to see what I like when I'm designing things for my lives, because this is what it's like. I'm like, okay, do I want to do this? And then sometimes I make something and I look at it and I'm like, hmm, it's okay. Not sure that that's what I want to present to people. And then I go back to the drawing board. Or then maybe I'll just change one or two things about what I originally had on my card. And you've all been there. It's, it's hard sometimes to decide what you're going to do. But this these layouts are super, super easy. I can usually take, I can really take this other one oh, and stick that down there. How about that? Um, so yeah, I thought that this was with Mother's Day, not too far away. Or if you have something coming up where you would like to like make some little gifts like this that are super easy. Like I said, the note cards and the envelopes are going on sale starting on April 9th and they will be $9 for 20 of them plus the box. Okay. So there's our Mother's Day card that we will, I'll send with. So here are the ones that we did. Let me pull some of this stuff out of here now. I'll just throw this in my, where my dies are and use them for other cards. Okay, so the ones we did today, this was the one that was this style. Um, and then we had this style with the three pieces. We had our squares that we made a little bit different. And then we had our just plain square that wasn't cut apart. Okay, so here are eight cards. The 12 that I had made off screen. Here are envelopes in there. Okay, so I did this pattern, which kind of seems like it's the same as some of the other ones, but it really wasn't. This was a sheet that had some parts that were a little bit more of the crumb cake and then some of them had more of the okay look at that little butterfly in there so you mean the world to me with some of that um ribbon here's uh i can't thank you enough you mean the world to me 
and here for you always. Then I had this pattern, which had this on one side and that on the other side. So here's my three by three, my one with the squares, the one with the three pieces, and then the one that has something down the side. Okay, so there's, that's the next piece. And then the last piece of paper that I used was the one that had the purple on one side and it had these um, flowers on the other side. So I can't thank you enough. Sending love and best wishes, sending love and best wishes, and you're simply marvelous. So there's a variety of greetings in there, different, all kind of in the same family, I should say, because we're using the same pack <coughs> of designer paper, but each just a little bit unique. All right, we still have to decorate the box. So this cover is the only thing that I'm going to decorate. The only sheet that I hadn't used has this on one side and that on the other side. This is kind of boring. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this side and I'm just gonna glue that down. <clears throat> this is four and a quarter by five and a half. I don't think I told you that and I don't think I put a banner up for it. So I apologize for that. Okay, so there's my cover. Um, you could do one of two things. Now, because I'm giving this to somebody as a gift, I made a Mother's Day card to go with it. So that already says Mother's Day. But if I want somebody after they've received it, if they want to reuse this box, like once they take the cards out of it, you could use this box to gift it for something else. You can kind of see how this goes together. I, sh I could take it apart, but I don't. There's like a piece that goes down on the bottom that lines it. And then you have your sides that you fold in. Um, same thing with the cover. There's like a double layer here to make it a little bit thicker. Um, I think I'm going to do You Mean the World to me. I'm going to put that on the outside and maybe a label over here. And maybe what we need to do is pull out our butterflies. And maybe we put... A butterfly let's see I've got lots of them cut out here maybe we just put a butterfly there and I can even just glue it on this side and fold it a little so it kind of stands up a little bit and we just kind of put a butterfly and then maybe a greeting down in this corner and I can wrap it with a little bit of ribbon and tie it I think that that will work Perfectly. Okay, so let's see. I need to grab my labels again. You mean the world to me. Does that fit on here? It does. Perfect. And we'll do that in Pretty Peacock. And I got to clean the stamp. Good thing I looked at that. <laughs> I don't know what I used it on last. Oh, yeah, it would have been Blackberry Bliss. That would not have been pretty. To stand up for this one. All right. I might actually even attempt. Let's see if I can cut some Stampin' Dimensionals. I cut some last night tiny. also use a stamp and blend and color it but I think the white kind of stands out the butterfly stands out a little bit more with it being white because everything else has so much color don't want it to go this way should go that way and then put this down here or Ooh, I like that. I think having it be a little bit on the label, I kind of like that. And then having this off to the side a little bit like that. Oh, I think that's, that's what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and um, throw a little bit of, yes, the basic, there's a new basic beige Mary just brought out. 
Brenda, could you do some cards with the fold at the top or would that be weird in the box? Um, you could, yeah, no, you could, you could do, and I thought about that. You could go ahead and go like this, like this one, you could put this on this side, Brenda, and you could put a greeting over here. My greetings were more longer than they were square. So all of mine ended up going this way, but you could definitely put this one this way. And then you could put like a little label over here. You could do them either way you wanted to. Mine just all happened to be tall, but you could definitely, you know, flip them around if you wanted to. Good question. I thought of that last night too. I'm like, oh, when I make some tomorrow, I should make some that are um, portrait and or landscape instead of all being portrait. And then... <coughs> creature of habit all my other ones were that way so I ended up doing these all that way too all right I think if I make this bow big enough we can just get some loop-de-loops on either end like that I don't know how this is gonna look I may pull this off yet so just stick with me here for a second see if it I have to cut those a little bit shorter yet. Okay, so I'm thinking if I lay that up on some dimensionals and I even tape that right to this. So let's go ahead and put some glue. I'm just putting it on the body of the butterfly. kind of bend it up a little bit and then we'll throw dimensionals on this label I thought about wrapping it in some of the lost lagoon ribbon but I think just having a little bit of this um, linen thread in the background is really enough just having some of that sticking out Aww. now I could put a dimensional over here and hold that down but I think I kind of like how it just kind of flies out and is free you could use ribbon to tie the box Lori you definitely could I would probably use this ribbon and you could wrap that ribbon around it and tie it to hold the cover on a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to count out where are my envelopes now. I have the envelopes here. Okay, so the person who's getting this next week is going to get this. Here my envelopes are. And I'm thinking 12 are going to fit because I have those dimensionals on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 envelopes. So we'll pop those in the bottom. And then let's see, we did these four today, right? We did these four and we did one, two, three. No, that's not right. One, two, yeah. One of these we didn't do today. What did I not? I didn't do these today. I did these. <laughs> what did I just make? <laughs> Somebody help me. Okay, so we made these. We made this one today. Let's see. Da, 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 da. It'll help if I can get these where I had. See, I can't even remember what I made today. We made this one today, I thought. Nope, maybe not. We made one with a butterfly in the middle. I think it was this one. We did this one. Can't remember what paper we used today even. Good Lord. We did this one. One, two, three. No, we did this one. See, I just did these last night. So anyway, I'm going to throw, let me just throw 12 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 
11. Let's see here. This one's cute. 12. Okay, so I've got 12 cards, 12 envelopes. And see how it's going right up to the top? I think 12 is about the max you can do if you throw some ribbon on the cards and you throw um, some dimensionals on and things like that. So all of these I could package up as different little gifts to give away to people, right? And then I have the card to go with it. So happy Mother's Day. What did I get on here? I'll fix that. I don't know what I did. Can you see? I think I have, I don't know how I added got ink on there. It actually doesn't even, it feels like it. I'll see if I can fix it. If not, I'll put a new label on it. But there is our little gift set, 12 cards in there, the card on the outside, and I have all of these left over that I can give away as gifts or I can send to people. No butterflies today. Would you use ribbon to tie box? No, no butterflies outside today? No, no butterfly. I don't know. Uh, I'm just catching up on comments here. Uh, I want to make sure that I got everything. Last week, I know that I missed some comments, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, I think I got all the comments. Let me come back here and here. There we go. All right, so I'm back. <laughs> I don't look the best because all these lights are shining on me. <laughs> we had to turn all the other lights off so that I don't have um, shadows and then I get all these bright lights on me. So thank you so much for joining me today. I will be live next Saturday at my normal time of about 8.30 in the morning. Um, the week after that, which is the week after Easter, I'm not going to for sure go live on Saturday at 8.30 or 12.30 because I'm helping a friend who is giving a shower for her future daughter-in-law. My mom and I are doing all of the food for it. There's only like about 12 to 15 people coming. So it's not like it's a huge um, shower undertaking, but we promised that we would do the food for it. So, um, and I'm invited to the shower. So besides doing the food in the morning, I'll be staying for the shower as well. So I'm not, I don't think I'll be able to jump on. If I get something put together, and I can jump on on Friday night, or if I can jump up on Sunday or something, I will let you know. I'll post something on my Facebook page to let you know. So thank you guys so much. I know that was a little bit longer, almost an hour and a half, but we made eight cards and we decorated a box and none of it was planned ahead of time. So we planned it all and put it together. So just like that in an hour, I cut the paper, not all the paper, but I cut all the designer paper with you and we did some talking and stuff too. So really this goes together pretty fast. So thank you so much again for joining me. I will see you again next week, Saturday. Have a great week. Hope you can find some time to craft during your weekend or during your week. Um, I know it's going to be a busy week. It's a short week for me, but it's going to be a busy one. So um, I will see you again next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.